Well guys, welcome back at I'm watching PS Shoes. Here we are with a rather quick undervolt tutorial for your GTX 1650. Now this is going to work for every GTX 1650, for every model out there, so Azus, MSI, even cheaper brands, even no-name brands, and it's going to work actually for every refresh card, so it's going to work for the 1660 as well, 1660 Ti as well, it's going to be the same. You're going to need two pieces of software, Heaven Benchmark and MSI Afterburner, I will leave both of them in the description down below, and this will help you get more performance, more FPS, reduce the coil whine, very annoying, and reduce the noise and temperature out of your system depending on how you set it. I will show you guys two different presets plus a few tips. It's gonna be a quick video but promise me one thing, if it ends up being helpful please drop a like and a sub to support the channel. Let's go in Windows. Okay so here we are into Windows. Now we want to start having benchmark but unchecking the full screen option and I'll start it. Now as it's running you want to open up MSI Afterburner on top of it, just like this, okay? Now you want to go into settings and uh, unlock the voltage control, voltage monitoring, hit apply, hit yes, and now Afterburner will start again. I'm going to show you first of all a preset if you want just the middle way, just the uh, best of both worlds pretty much, okay? And then I will tell you guys how you can customize it. How you do it is you click on the curve editor, the first one is going to be for both performance and lower temperature, okay? So. You then want to unlock the power limit to the maximum and then go on the core clock and hit minus 250 right there. Then go on the 900 millivolt voltage point right here and bring it all the way up to around 1900. Okay, it can be a bit lower, it can be a bit higher, no worries. And then hit apply right there. And this will be our curve. Now we want to go on the memory clock and give it a nice and conservative plus 400 right there, hit apply, save your profile into one, click on one, click apply, go into settings, set it to start with windows, start to minimize, hit apply, hit ok, go into here, make it start with windows, close this up and we are done. If you want you can close the video already, just copy this, drop a like, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one. However, if you want to stay I will teach you guys how to do it a bit better, ok? So basically the lower the voltage, which is those numbers here, the lower the temperature. So if you want to get even lower temperature, you will have to lower a bit your core clock, but you can do it. So let's do it again. Let's say I want the lowest temperature possible. I can then go minus 250, as we did before, but grab the 850 voltage point and bring it, for example, all the way up to 1800, around, again, 1800, right there. Hit apply. And then this will give you even lower temperature. The RAM, memory clock, overclock is just to give you a bit extra performance. You, you, you don't really have to do this if you don't want the performance, okay? You, you can leave it at zero and just hit apply and again save the profile and it's going to be the lowest possible temperature ever. Same way if you want the most performance ever, you can go minus 250, go in here, but this time give it a bit more voltage, like grab the 950, for example, right there and bring it all the way to 1950 is what you generally want to aim for but uh, if you feel very lucky you can go to 2000 but you need to be again pretty lucky with your car to do it 1950 is what i recommend for performance hit ok and uh, again power limit unlocked right here and then at this point you may even want to try like 500 on the memory and just test in games if it's stable if it crashes just revert it back okay set it better and uh, check it. So for example, 900 millivolt uh, at 1900 megahertz crashes for you, let's suppose. You can then go back, reset it, do minus 250, unlock everything and go 900 and for example settle with an 1875 for example and this is gonna work. And uh, same thing if your memory at 600 crashes, you just go back and put it to 400. You kind of understood how it works I think. It's pretty simple basically. The higher this number, the higher the performance. The lower this number, the lower the temperature pretty much. But very simple, it's gonna be a lot better so if the video was helpful please drop a like and a sub. I have many more videos for CPUs as well and I cover different GPUs on the channel as well so you may want to give it a look to support the channel and to learn a bit more. I also show how to overclock controllers for example if you're playing on controller on PC and many different things so yeah maybe check around and uh, see you in the next one guys bye bye